Eddie here with CloudCare WP, and what we're going to go over today is how to use Beaver Builder and Beaver Themer to create a header that when you scroll will flip and change what's on that header. So let's go ahead and cover that. So what we did here is, is we're using Astra Pro in this example. And Astra Pro, um, I'm not sure if all uh, licenses comes with it, but it comes with a bunch of starter sites. So this is one of the starter sites. It's a pre-built Beaver Builder um, template, we'll say, layout, that is uh, designed to work with Astro. So what I did is I went ahead and already mocked up my row that we're going to use to replace the default header here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into the dashboard. And then we're going to go uh, hover over Beaver Builder and then choose Themer Layouts. And this is using Beaver Themer. If you're not familiar with that, uh, it is an amazing um, tool that utilizes the functionality of Beaver Builder, but is more tailored to you Beaver Builder to customize portions of the theme, not a specific page. So in this case, we're going to use Beaver Builder to make our own uh, header using Beaver Themer. So we're going to go ahead and click Add New, and we're going to create a new header here, and we'll call it Flipped Header. And the layout, which is default, will be Header. So go ahead and add Themer Layout. And then we're going to uh, go over a couple of things here. So we want this to be sticky. Sticky means that when you scroll, the header stays in place. We do not want it to shrink because sizing is actually important in the script we're using, and we'll cover that. And we're going to go ahead and use overlay because um, the original one was an overlay with, with transparent background. So we're just going to mock that up. For location, in this example, we're just going to choose entire site. However, you could create unique headers for, let's say, um, profiles on a member website. So when they scroll, in, in, on a uh, on a member profile, it would show maybe that member's name and, and a contact bo uh, contact button, or uh, something like that to kind of make it customized for it. Or for example, if you're using it with WooCommerce, you might have it so you have your standard header at the top, but when you begin to scroll, it'll pop up with a uh, you know add to cart button, and then maybe the the title of the product you're selling. So there's all kinds of neat things you could do to create headers specific to what you're going to use them for. But in this case, we're just going to choose entire site. So we'll go ahead and choose publish. And there we go. Okay, so that's published. And then we're going to go ahead and launch Beaver Builder so we can start building this thing out. So by default, when you create a new header layout using Beaver Themer, when you get into Beaver Builder to customize that layout, um, it's going to give you this default header here that you can see. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and, and uh, mocked up a header that's similar to what's default in the, the template we're using. So if we go ahead and I'll go to Save Rows, and choose the main one I made. So you can see here, this is similar to what was there before. And then we're also going to add another row. And this is going to be the row that it flips to. So when you're scrolling, it's going to flip to this other row. And then I also suggest doing, and, and I typically do this for all websites on, is I create a separate mobile header row. And I do this because there's always something you're, you end up wanting to customize on your mobile header. So I just always do this out of habit. So we've got three rows here. And we're going to go ahead and go into the settings of each row because I want to show you something. So when you click Advanced, I have this set to large and medium devices only because I don't want this to do this on mobile. And then I gave it an ID of header row A. And I'll show you how this all ties together here soon. So the second one is, is very similar. Advanced, large, medium devices only, and then header row B. And then this, of course, we're going to set up as our mobile one. And this is just small devices only, and we don't have any ID for it because there's no need for it in this. So before we leave here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to Layout, 
CSS and JavaScript, and we're going to add the JavaScript we need. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll have this JavaScript handy on the video page for you. Let's go ahead and copy this and paste it in there. Now, the size of these rows that we've created are 100 pixels each. And that's just because I've pre-measured them in advance. And you can pre-measure what your row height is going to be uh, in DevTools or you could specific height, however you decide you want to do it. In this case, these both were 100 pixels. So whatever your row is going to be, you're going to change that number here. So you can see how we have a header row A, which is the ID we gave it, and that connects with header A. And then you can see here, header A, transform, and then you're going to have your pixel size there of the row. It's a negative number because you're actually basically um, sliding it up is what you're essentially doing. So that's the JavaScript. I just want to point this out. You'll have to change these to accommodate whatever the size of the header you create is. And there's also going to be a little bit of CSS we're going to add here. So let's go ahead and add this as well. And this doesn't really require much um, tweaking. As you can see, it's already taken effect as, as we're going through it here. Uh, so the height is already set. That's 97. I'm going to change this to 100 because that's what this is actually at. So these are the heights of your <laughs> rows. And that's pretty much all you'd have to mess with in here. This should be, um, this shouldn't require much, much fiddling just to get your, ho your, your, uh, the height right of your, your rows. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we're going to mark this as done. Publish. Okay. So now let's go back to the home page here. And let's see if it works. Let's just give it a good refresh for, for safe, to be safe here. And let's begin to scroll. So as we start to scroll, you can see that the header changes. And there's so many neat things you can do with this. But the way we have this set, as you begin to scroll, it doesn't take effect right away until you're a little ways down the page, and then it flips to the new one. And as soon as you start to scroll back up, it flips back. So, I, I mean, that's pretty much the whole thing. Uh, that's what this does. Like I said, when you start thinking into high how dynamic you can be with Beaver Themer, you can have... Uh, blog posts with certain call to actions on them and, and um, things that you put in these rows can be specific to the post type that you're doing them with. So if you're doing a product, like I said, you can just add the Beaver Themer, add the cart button up here. And, and so you can do all those things and make it all dynamic and, and have it show the title of a blog post right here if you want. So it, it's, it's very cool what you can do with this. And uh, just keep in mind, I will point this out real quick in case you don't think about it. Uh, this would be it. Just keep in mind, since I threw that CSS in here, if you wanted to edit another part of it, because it hides things on you right away, just, you know, cut that, make your changes, paste it back in there. You're good to go. Or alternately, you could always do, you know, add that in there to, to comment it out, make your changes, and then go in there and take the slash and asterisk back out of there. But that that's about it. Very simple, um, very easy to do. All the code will be provided for you. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, hit up the comments. We'll reply to them.